So hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me, well actually to my left side, is this thing. This thing arrived today off of eBay, which is, get a lot of this, radioactive keychain. I'm not quite sure why I bought it, but when I saw it, I thought, you know, radioactive, why not? Sounds like fun. This thing supposedly glows uh, for 25 years. It does kind of look like it's been out in the rain, so... Mm. Anyway, okay. Ta-da! Well, this thing is not... This thing is not glowing very much. Anyway, this thing is uh, supposedly made out of a uh, tritium X, something like that, I'm not quite sure. I never heard of uh, that element before, but Chinese people say it's radioactive and it glows. And there you have it. It's not glowing that much. You know what? I'll turn off uh, my entire lighting. Just a second. Well, they didn't lie. It is glowing. And it is actually glowing. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, it is glowing. Anyway, let's turn on my lighting back. So I guess you can see it is glowing, but yeah, not that much. Now, anyway, the reason I bought this thing is because I have a Geiger counter. Ta-da! Every true slav has to have one. I mean, come on. Anyway, let's turn it on. So, there is the text. If you want to read it, you can pause it. Anyway, it says that uh, blah blah blah. You have to have uh, values uh, lower than 0 0.52. I believe these are millisieverts, something like that. Anyway, or this is microsieverts, I believe. Anyway, so let's test the uh, radioactive keychain, just to see how radioactive it is. I'll be placing... There is a tube in here, so I'll be placing it over this radioactive keychain and... Okay, so it is a bit radioactive. Let me zoom in. Okay. We have to supposedly wait for, uh, I believe, 8 minutes. So I'll be leaving this thing and uh, spinning it up. So see you after 8 minutes. But you know, so far this is not that radioactive. Okay, it is a bit, but... I mean, uh, I found uh, 0 0.20 microsievert in my friend's fiat so you know <laughs> and that one is supposedly not radioactive So, you know, I don't think that we actually need 8 minutes, because they have really screwed me over. So yeah, this thing is not radioactive whatsoever, seriously. It's a bit depressing. So before I start, a bit of a disclaimer. This device is not military grade device, uh, hence it probably does not have uh, the greatest readings. Although, um, in the specifications they say that it does, but I'm not, uh, not quite sure whether it does or not, because I don't have any sample of anything that's radioactive for me to verify it. So, on with the video. Also, uh, a bit of apology. Uh, I'm not uh, going to uh, use my mic, uh, the external one, so it might be a bit uh, noisy. My apologies for that. Okay, so let me show you around Riek a bit. Now, I'm sorry if uh, well, the sound is a bit distorted. I actually do not have my uh, mic with me. And, as you can see, well, this is Rijeka. Now, the reason I'm actually even recording this video and showing you Rijeka is because our Corso has these beautiful marbles, marble stones, I guess, which I will be showing you in just a second. And as you can see, these marble stones are actually brought in from Africa. Now, the reason I have a Geiger counter is because, well, people said that they were radioactive. So, you know what? Let's test the theory. Oh, I already do have a Geiger counter and I'm, well, I look like an idiot talking to myself, but let's see what the counter says. So it's already at keychain level. And the bad thing is that it actually does not glow. But let's see whether it will get any higher than that. So it's still going up. And again, sorry about the wind. So I guess this one is around 30, I guess. I guess, 30, 32. 
Yeah, let's wait a bit. Oh, 33. Nice. Okay, so I'm guessing this one is not that radioactive. Let's see what, what about this one. Oh, we have a winner, 38. 39. Will we have 40? Yeah, it's 40. Let's move it to this one. And let's see whether this one is more radioactive. So, 42, 44. Awesome. 43. 45. 48. 49. 50. 51. Fifty-two. This is actually the limit of being safe. And this is actually pretty radioactive already. And I've actually measured the top was 53, but I didn't have my camera with me. So some of them are actually even more. So go figure. Oh, it was windy. So sorry about the noise. With all of that being said, this little keychain actually won. You know why? First of all, it's less radioactive. True story. Second of all, it glows in the dark. And it's a couple of millions of something cheaper. So yeah. Basically we are running for European throne of culture. Something like that, I'm not quite sure what. So if you want to get ir irradiated, come in here, it's fun. Not warm, but fun. Anyway. I guess th that's pretty much it for this keychain. If you like this video, please click like, thumbs up, subscribe. If you did not, you know what to do. And yeah, until the next time. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this. So I bought it in order to test my Geiger counter. And as it turns out, all I needed was to go out. So yeah, there you have it. Until the next time. Bye bye.